This video is about the Behringer System 55 and the basic patch points required to get a sound out of it. I'm going to use the Mini Moog as a reference because it has a simpler interface. So the first thing you'll notice about the panel of the System 55 is that it's got different sections and these white lines delineate the sections and these sections will roughly correspond to the modules on the System 55 that need to be interconnected to make it work properly. So let's look at the audio signal flow first. We have our oscillator sound sources and there's a connection behind the panel that joins the output of the oscillator to the mixer input and you have a volume control and an on-off switch for each of these three oscillators. You also have noise and an external input. So once those signals get mixed, you have to take the audio output and connect it into the audio input of the filter. That's done, of course, behind the panel here, but it'll require a patch cord. The output of the filter will go to the input of the VCA, and the output of the VCA will go into the input of the output section. That will be the volume for the VCA, and there's also an on-off switch. So that's the basic audio signal flow. What about the control signal flow? Well, there are three basic controllers. You have the keyboard, along with the pitch wheel, which create a keyboard control voltage. You have a modulation source that's controlled from the mod wheel which can go to either the oscillator pitch or the filter frequency. Finally you have these envelope generators here that will go into the filter or the VCA respectively. So let's look at the keyboard control voltage and it's going to route automatically to the oscillators, you can cut off that control voltage for the third oscillator so you can use it as a modulation source for vibrato and so forth. You also have keyboard control going into the filter and there are four levels of control. With these two switches off, there's no keyboard control going to the filter. This will give a little bit this will give a little bit more and that will give all of the keyboard control voltage going into the cutoff frequency at one volt per octave so it will track the keyboard. Next let's look at the modulation. The source of the modulation is here where you either have the output of VCO3 or the output of the noise or some mix of both of those going into your modulation. You can, as I mentioned, cut off the modulation here. You can cut it off here and it will go to control the pitch of the oscillators and or the cutoff frequency of the filter. Finally we have the envelope generators. The envelope generators will control the filter and the VCA. There is a control here to attenuate the output of the envelope generator to control how much envelope controls the frequency of the filter. The output of the VCA envelope goes directly into the VCA unattenuated. So that's the signal flow of the audio and the three control voltage types from the keyboard control voltage, modulation, and envelope generators. Now let's look at the System 55 and see how we would implement a Mini Moog style patch with the System 55 modules. So this is our System 55 and we're going to be using the oscillator bank here, the mixer here, voltage controlled filter, voltage controlled amplifier, and envelope generators here and we'll go through the patching of each of these starting with the MIDI to CV converter 
We've got two outputs, a uh, yellow keyboard control voltage output and a green gate output. Just real briefly while we're here, the gate output goes into a molt and goes into the gate inputs on the two envelope generators that we're using. So let's take a closer look at this keyboard control input that comes around the back and goes into this module to get a portamento or glide. And let's zoom in a little bit on these modules. So we take the portamento output, the glide output, and go into the oscillator driver. So we have our keyboard control with glide on it. The keyboard control output from the driver goes into oscillator one, it daisy chains into oscillator two, daisy chains into oscillator three, all with these pink patch cables. The white patch cables are doing something similar for the pulse width. We're using the triangle output from oscillator one and two and the pulse output from oscillator three. And that goes into this mixer. This mixer output goes into the voltage controlled filter audio input. And the output of the voltage controlled filter goes to the voltage controlled amplifier. The output of the voltage controlled amplifier goes to this attenuator and out to the mixer. We've looked at the keyboard control voltage and how it routes to the oscillator bank. Now let's look at the envelope generators for the VCF and the VCA. So we've got, as I mentioned, the gate inputs going into the envelope generators. The output of the envelope generator goes into the control voltage input of the voltage controlled amplifier. Similarly, for the second envelope generator, the output goes into this module, control voltages module, and we can attenuate that right here. And then the output of this control voltages module will go into the input of the voltage controlled filter to control the cutoff frequency. And that's our basic patch. Again, we're using oscillator bank, filter, amplifier, envelope generators, and mixer attenuators, and a lag or portamento or glide module that is not included in the System 55. So that's the basic patch. Let's just listen to it for a second. So that's the basic patch points video for the System 55. One thing to notice is that you pretty much have to patch everything you want connected. The other thing to notice is that we've got an entire second oscillator bank, a fixed filter, three more voltage controlled amplifiers, actually four more that we're not yet using, uh, two more envelope generators, and of course, the sequencer. So we've got an awful lot of processing power that is unused in this Mini Moog style patch. I hope this was helpful for you to understand the patching on the System 55. This is of course a very basic patch, but it's what would be involved in emulating a Mini Moog patch on the System 55.